She's one of the up-and-coming chefs to keep your eye on here in Dallas, and you can see her lighting up the competition right now on ABC's The Taste every Tuesday uh. night. <laughs> Please welcome Uno Amanda Vong. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. This is so exciting. Um, it smells incredible in here. Well, Thank you. I took a little cheat bite earlier. <laughs> I'm <laughs> surprised there's any left. Girl, those are Seriously. the bombs. Seriously. For real. Seriously. But congratulations. So Thank you've you. made it pretty far so far in the competition. Tomorrow is the sixth episode out of eight, and so fingers crossed. I can can you so give us two more left? left. Are you going to give us any type of like something for your North Texas family? Because if you if it turns out that you win and we didn't know, we're going to have to have you back. So of course, of course. That's I mean, it. even I'm if you lose, we'll have you back. Thank you. <laughs> I'm I still won if I lost. You. Yeah. Okay, what are you cooking today? I'm going to make a shaved a salad with chicken croutons. That's the stuff that I put the crack into. Oh, chicken chicken like croutons. croutons. There's okay. something in the... Can I just have one more? These are amazing. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is uh, there's a dressing in here that's an Asian dressing and so um, we're going to make that now. It's okay. pretty simple to make. I put a clove of garlic since it's kind of early in the morning. Some ginger here. Mm. I put a couple of serrano peppers because it is early. Give it a little kick. Yeah, it's like an Asian salsa is what I call this. And okay. so cilantro. I'm going to put a little bit of sugar. And now, when did you start cooking? How did your whole How did your whole journey start in the it kitchen? It started when I was like five years old. My mom catered when we were growing up, and so you know, when kids were, you said you'd watch, you know, Katie Couric in the mm -hmm. morning. I'd watch Fugu Gourmet and pretend <laughs> to play um, House, and or, not I, even House. I would pretend to play Food Kitchen, where I would actually cook. What is that that you just poured in? Oh my gosh! Can oh. you smell it? I was gonna say yeah. It's what fish is sauce. that? Fish sauce. And this is a brand that I love. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Can we get that at the regular grocery store? No, you have to go to the Asian market. The secret market. Asian so, market. Mm -hmm. It's not really secret. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Well, that wasn't it's a way before I am now. Put everything together, and then I fresh and squish, uh, <laughs> squeeze some fresh lime in there. So I'll do that really quick, and then we're gonna toss it all together with the shaved. Um, salad that we have there. Okay, now the cool thing I love about the taste is you have to create a meal, but be able to give it to the judges in just one spoonful, correct? Exactly. Now, has that been true? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, she said a bad word. <laughs> I'm kidding. Girl, Nobody wants to listen to me talk you out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was that loud. So, so has that been difficult for you, putting Putting a whole a whole dish into one spoonful, one bite it that is. could make or break. I mean, you want to over on the show. You want to overthink everything, and so my spoon that got me on was a spoonful of offals. I don't know if you guys know what that well, what is. What are offals? They're like the insides of an animal that people usually throw out, like the liver, the heart, the kidneys, and so mm. I minced that up. So is that like chitlins? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm from the south. I grew up on chitlins, which is like pig intestines. So it's kind of like that. Exactly. Oh, I bet you I would like that. Sauté with some lemongrass in it and um, ginger. And so Bourdain loved it. So I'm on Anthony Bourdain's team. If you guys love okay. Anthony Bourdain, mm -hmm. so so he um, liked your disgusting intestines. He did. He did. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> it was more stressful to think of the perfect bite to be on to get myself on the show. It was like 8,000 people tried out. You know, 80 people came to LA, and then 16 people were actually selected for the show wow. based on this blind taste testing. So is there so, a strategy behind no, this? It was just, you know, he's like he had he wanted somebody with the balls to do something like that for these, you know, chefs like Nigella Lawson, Lou right. Lefebvre, and Brian mm. Malarkey. Like, some heavy believe, hitters. Yeah, he was like, I can't believe you made this of all things, this peasant dish for mm. you know these these chefs. And so well, it worked for you then, and apparently it's still working. Okay, so okay. let's talk about this salad. So okay. we've got I've got some zucchini squash, here, zucchini, some squash, zucchini, carrots, some cucumber. Which That's is Courtney's asparagus. Too. I am allergic to, cucumber. allergic to cucumber. So I'll. Anybody want to do help. off with Courtney on the show? I mean, I'm, I can pick a place <laughs> and give you some cucumber, actually. Give me a little cucumber. <laughs> some cucumber here, and then some mango. I love fruit in salads because it just adds like, a different tart dimension on it. And it's like the mix of like the spicy and the sweet. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I'm going to have you toss this after I put the dressing Absolutely. on here. Absolutely. The dressing's fairly easy. I you guys just saw. love how they're going to make a cook out of me on this show. Uh, I mean, Y'all are really helping me Emmett step is up. Emmett going to thank all these cooks for coming on, actually. Like, thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to need any. What is okay, it? Okay, now you're throwing in some cherry tomatoes. Some cherry tomatoes. And then the chicken croutons. You were explaining these to me. These are really easy. It's just like oil, panko, yes. chicken. She just simplifies it a whole lot more than it I know, right? Seriously. And the recipe's going to be online, but it's fish sauce. Half a cup of fish sauce, water, um, sugar, and then um, some garlic in it's there. Good. You marinate it overnight. You Amazing. dry it out on a towel, then you dip it into some cornstarch, so that really makes it crisp, and then egg wash, and then seasoned panko, deep fry it. You didn't have a deep fryer, so just get a pan, put some oil in there, mm -hmm. and fry And ta-da! Oh, well, this it smells amazing. I know that Lisa and Susie are going to want to taste it, too. Yeah. You guys, you can read more about Uno on her foodie blog. You can get there by going to dthebroadcast.tv. Yes. And don't forget to watch ABC's The Taste on Tuesdays at 8.
And she's gonna win. Yes. She's gonna win. Tomorrow, eight o'clock. <laughs> We're excited. Yay. We'll be right back, y'all. She's gonna win. I saw You're good, girl. Oh, I